Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, Bambina, I think it's about time we continue with this Let's Play. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> yep, Artie and Marty are back okay. for more... Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. So, we're at the evidence room, but we can't get in. How horribly inconvenient. So, we're going to have to like, wander around over police. We already tried that. Oh, we're going back. Okay. February 23rd, police department entrance. This place is charged with frantic en energy, as always. Please! Huh? Wasn't that... One steak lunch, please! Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> that was no time for chit-chat, pal! I'm a busy man! What I really need now is a steak lunch from Munchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. Oh, Gumshoe. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Now's no time for despair! We've caught our criminal! Now we just need evidence! The criminal? You mean... You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, pal! On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Uh, I see. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages! Everything's topsy-turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know is I need me a steak lunch, pronto. Standing around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. If you want to know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. Later. Well, it's he. He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Let's go back to the investigation room. Let's go. Let's go. Let's no, go. we have to go to the detention center. Oh. Why are we going to write in company law offices? Oh, that's right. We can't go to criminal affairs from there, even though we could in the last case, I'm pretty sure. February 23rd, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Still, I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. It's just Lana again. Best to not go too far down that road j right now. Things will just get confusing. W what was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying! Me, a perpetrator?! Uh, uh, I'd say I, I was perpetrated again, sir! That's what I'd say! Oh, poor Officer Mickey! Oh, oh, oh! Uh, hi! Greetings, sir! Wait, I know who you are! Excuse me, but uh, is it Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir! I've got your report, sir! Officer Meekins! So you're a guard here at the de detention center? No, sir! I'm not, sir! I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir! Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report? No, sir. I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? Err. Perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir! What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. Nah, not really. <laughs> Blame the dude. Blame the dude. I don't think he This guard it, monitors though. the visitor's room. Seeing a fellow patrolman in here must make him worry about his own fate in life. <laughs> no comments from the peanut gallery. Hey, Emma, come on now. Sir, I'm a patrolman with general affairs, sir! Sir! Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went down to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir! So, normally there's a guard in the uh, event the evidence room? That's right, sir! Because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir! Now the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall! M marshall Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. <laughs> Go on. Okay, I swear when you sneeze you make it as loud as possible. No! I try not to. That's what I saw him, sir! A suspicious person in the evidence room! A suspicious person, sir! A suspicious person! 
What the heck is this guy doing? Did he just electric shock him? <laughs> no. So, what happened then? After that, sir, I... I... Everything went white! I saw red! I blacked out! And when I came to, I was here in the detention center. Oh, How God. long were you out? Days? <laughs> Did he hit his head on the cacti? <laughs> um, might I ask, what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand? Just like Miss Sky. Huh. Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. Maybe they got, like, stabbed or whatever in the same way. First things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. And your hand, that happened when Detective Goodman was stabbed? Well, you see, sir! I, er... Uh... Don't you think you should just confess? But sir! Sir! But there was nothing I could do! Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell you the truth, sir, when it happened, when the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir! And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Huh? Then, when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir! All alone! Alone because... Because Detective Goodman had disappeared! What? Then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock! Oh, the sorrow, sir! Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm. That's some story. Okay, I have an idea. What <laughs> I feel like we should have done this one first, probably. Uh, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? No. Sir! Please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir! If you have to label me as a persecutor or a victim, sir, then label me victim! Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that. Ah, uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So, you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives! Uh, so, if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir! None! N nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir! At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Okay, I have a theory. <laughs> What's that? Goodman, for whatever reason, was in the evidence room trying to steal something. Didn't steal it. This dude started hollering. And then everyone was like, holy crap, going on the run. Police is keeping it under wraps because this is the police. He manages to sneak into Edgeworth's car. Edgeworth drives, I don't know, maybe he... He was at the, de the police department getting the award. So that must have meant that Goodman snuck in while they were doing the award ceremony. Problem Goodman. though. Yes. Meekin stabbed the guy at the exact same time Lana stabbed him. Literally, the moment Lana was stabbing him, that's when Meekin was stabbing the guy. I'm gonna say like projections or something are at work. Not projections. Okay, <laughs> you think it's okay. like a hologram? <laughs> no, because there's no body found at one scene, and there's a body found at the other scene. So I was like, oh, maybe there's like. I don't know, a dummy or something. Maybe they were like, oh, we stabbed Mr. Goodman! And He's right okay. here! And it's just like a fake. <laughs> like, it could be... Or like All a right. different dude. Or like his twin brother or something. Okay. I don't know. Officer Meekins, have a look at this. Go ahead, sir. Laugh! Laugh at me, sir! Ha <laughs> ha! Huh? I know what you want to say! You're going to tell me how she has one just like it! Me? Why would I... I know, sir, I know. I'm the only one without a girl with matchy badges. What? Nowhere! I'm alone! All alone! Is that so wrong? Life isn't all about high school sweethearts and you for romance, sir! Is he talking about those badges on her coat? Hmm. I'd like to think there's a difference between my badge and a fashion accessory. <laughs> I love how they're just kind of like, no comment. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? Hey! That's it, sir! That's it! That's it! That's what? My head was a blank until this very moment! But, sir, now I remember! I remember, sir! 
You mean you remember what happened? Correct! That card! That card was the cause of it all! This ID card? Exactly, sir! That's exactly it! Nothing could be more exact, sir! Nothing! I'd better pry into this one a little deeper. Oh man, I hate doing Meekin's voice. I was about to say, I'm like, ugh. Oh. That sounds like it hurts. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh, Mr. Regan! Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost patrolman. A little lost lamb, if you will. I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman who was at the evidence room. And that's why you thought he looked suspicious? He's wearing, like, a white coat. Yep. White. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. Th that's right, sir! That's what I've been trying to tell you! So, you asked Detective Goodman to show you his ID card. What did he do then? That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! What? Sir, I assure you, I was as flustered as you are right now! So I whooped and leapt at him! Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him? Do unto others before they do unto you! <laughs> My own father's <laughs> work, sir! Uh, what happened then? Well... My eyes, sir. Everything went white. Then I awoke. I was here. Right. Out for like three or four days. <laughs> but he gave Edgeworth the report the other day. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Cool music. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim, whom he met at the scene of the crime, didn't show his ID card. In, a, in other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I was saying. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir! That! That's what I wanted to say! That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here? They told me it had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly? No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The crime, my crime! My the crime, I swore to stamp out! It's there, it's me, on the tape! Watch, we're gonna get there and they're gonna be like, Well, Bambina, too bad I got rid of all this film. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen. And you wait until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. N no thanks. I have my own. Well, guess we better go and check the crime scene. We have to go back 30 minutes. <laughs> They're like, all right, Phoenix, get in the car. <sighs> Actually, how do they get there if Phoenix can't drive? Oh. It's 30 minutes away. They take a cab or they call Larry and they can drive. They're like, hey, Larry, can you drive us? He's like, uh, but I'm with my girlfriend in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Meekins, this is for you. Yeek! I'm scared of knives, sir. It's okay, I just wanted you to take a look at it. That's it, sir! Last night, sir! That's the one! I was an apple, sir, in my dream, sir, and I was- I was being peeled! On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. Hmm, he's overreacting to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. Maybe it's the same knife, too. Officer Meekins, could you take a look at this? I'm sorry, sir, really sorry, but I have no idea what that is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edgeworth, sir! He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. It takes a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's enough of the Meekins' voice. Let's that hurts back. my voice. Yep. February 23rd, Police Department. Criminal Affairs. Hey, Mr. Wright. Look who's standing at the head detective's desk. It's Chief Gant. Oh, boy. Are you sure this is all, hmm? You know what it means if there's anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect! We checked the drawers, and the lockers, and the garbage cans, the coat pockets... And the drawers. <laughs> the pillowcases behind the computer monitors, the coffee machine... I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, deal? Y y y yes sir! We'll scour the place again, sir! The head detective looks a little flustered. Yeah, Chief Gant walked in as he was playing games on his computer. No kidding. That's gotta be not good for your resume. I just realized... Ah, oh, right oh my boy! How you been? Swim much? Oh, Chief Gant reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? <laughs> well, I mean, Chief... Whoa, Chief this is detective. his voice. This is his music. Oh, yeah. 
He's a big important guy with his own important face. I just realized his hair looks like a cloud and a lightning bolt. Yeah. Um, is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, Worthy! Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, we've had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. You mean, the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having one of our top people sitting in the defendant's seat. Now, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, Righto? Von Karma. Whoa, I haven't seen Von Karma head on in a while. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40-year career. But in court, you fixed it, so he got caught for forging evidence. W wait I didn't do anything wrong! He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. What about you? Now, depending on what the inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Yeah, worry. that stare! You don't think that's creepy? No, I think it's creepy. I don't. It's his eyes. Okay, it's his eyes with the smile. Like, he's just like, now, depending, it could be bad for work. Like, he's totally... It, it's a nervous. little unsettling, but it's not too bad. What? Like, with his eyes closed, he's like, yeah, whatever. It's downright odd, I tell you. I mean, it happened at exactly the same time. The murder at the prosecutor's office. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? No, no, right. Oh, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive, and I can't talk about it. I wasn't I expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of is hiding stuff. Secrets can't stand them. Then why do you work in the police department? That's like half your job. <laughs> That's true. But, you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the head detective's trap shut. Ah, uh, he was the one you were picking on earlier? Huh? You saw that? Whoops! I wonder what it was that he wanted the head detective to do. Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. Let's show him the prosecutor trophy. Let's show him our badge. I was wondering, could you take a look at this? Ah, uh, sorry, Righto. I'm through with that stuff. Through, I say. Go find the guy who can't seem to sit still out there. The busy one. The guy who can't sit still. Does he need Detective Gush Gumshoe? Either him or the dancing blue badger. <laughs> exactly. Nope, nothing there. Otherwise... Gant's theme is interesting. Yeah. I would... No, nothing there either. Dog on it. Mm. Hey, do you want a steak lunch? <laughs> no. Oh, I was hoping I could butter him up a bit. Literally, look at all that butter. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. No? Oh, come on! Maybe we just need to move on. No, there's definitely something you present here. Nope. Maybe it's the luminol. No, it wouldn't be the luminol. Maybe we can examine something in here. Spray! No, spray the blood stuff. The, bl the blood the stuff? The luminol? Yeah. Uh, there's nothing in here, though. Uh. These are the detective's desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. Nope, nothing else. Okay, it has to be something you show, and otherwise we have to go... <laughs> Ooh, sorry you had to see that! Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Well, see over there? That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So, nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not! Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. I'll make a note of that just in case. Goodman's lost item report added. I should probably get a quick look around the crime scene. Yeah, that probably would be for the best. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. 
Hmm? Well, I never thought the day would come when Rhino asked me for help. Ha uh ha. -huh. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. Uh... <laughs> oh, come on! Now, Raito. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I d don't need to investigate after all. Raito, please, do I look like a selfish man? Yes. Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, Sir, can I borrow 50 bucks? I'd give them 50 bucks, no problem. So, go ahead, investigate the room to your heart's content. Knock yourself okay. out. Was it just goes to show, you never know until you ask. And for you here, you could borrow this. Hey! This is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. We're gonna lose it. <laughs> yes, sir! It's an honor! Yeah. We're gonna lose it. You We're just gonna walk in and someone's gonna be like, Hey, it's nice. <laughs> you just run it. along and do your best now. Later, folks. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty cool on my... Well, I lapel. Can't. Lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. I couldn't tell if it said label or not. You seem happy. Yes, sir. Because, sir, we get to go to the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. <laughs> yeah. Poor Officer Mutant. All right, well, later, Gant. Let's go into the... We need to go into the... To the what? Evidence room. That's where I'm going. Oh, separate from the police office. It's inside the police office. Let's go in. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have an ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. <laughs> Aha! The card reader is turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my bambina sky so gray? You're not doing your job. <laughs> uh, Officer Marshall! Somehow I knew. What's that somehow I knew look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. <laughs> um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw! Well, what you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you hombres. You're... busy, then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Wow. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us hombres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a bit rude. Um, I was wondering if we could talk to you. Sorry, Bambina. But I'm off to roam the lands like a tumbleweed in the wide prairie. He just starts rolling around the room like, Whoa! Like a tumbleweed. <laughs> like a gunslinger loading his six-shooter, I say a little prayer. What was that all about, Mr. Wright? I think he was just too hungry to talk. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> okay, you're just saying that because his stomach was growling. You have no idea what he was talking about either. Well, in any case, we need to get cracking on this investigation okay, let's give pronto. Him a stick. Oh, yep, it's the same thing again. That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. <laughs> so, Officer Marshall, you are from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this for my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. Well, what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see, I see! I don't see. I wonder what it means? Steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. Alright, Bambina. You win. Ask anything. Finally, it seems like he's willing to talk. Okay. Yay! Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Ah, oh, that poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. 
He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from the detective two years ago... Well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> so, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my <laughs> steed, Zippy. <laughs> no, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bane-up job of keeping an eye on the place. He's, do you not want a job? <laughs> you mean the security camera system? I don't take to machines much. Kind of like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? Yes! Broccoli I, sucks! I love broccoli. Kids, broccoli is great. Kids, eat your broccoli. But it's terrible and they're far superior vegetables. Let us know. Do you like broccoli? Or broccoli are you already? Is... Broccoli is bad. I'm sorry. I've broccoli never tasted great. broccoli that has been good. Okay, I will say... Raw broccoli is revolting, and like, um, broccoli in water is revolting. Here's the thing. Broccoli with cheese is revolting, but having it, like, just steamed and warmed through is really good. Here's the thing. Even if that's true and, like, steamed broccoli is not terrible, there are so many better vegetables than that. Not both, a lot. Both in I terms like of carrots. health and taste. I carrots like carrots. Are great. I asparagus like asparagus is way better. I like better. asparagus. I like green beans. I like spinach. I hate cauliflower. All right. Well, passion. this is not the Artie and Marty gripe about vegetables no, hour. This yes, is it the is. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Let's this play. Is Bambina and vegetables hour. Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. Uh, you're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. <laughs> nope, still slow. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. Hey, Marshall. There are some fiends you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. So that means it's like 15... Oh. Two days ago. The day of our case. That's right. The evidence transferals. Edgeworth was talking about the transferals, too. Alright, this is driving me freaking nuts. How it occasionally just... And this game should not lag. This... Suspending game. There we go. That's just better. I know that maybe two of the machines in here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen! Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. Cauliflower is even worse than cauliflower broccoli. Is cauliflower has no place existing in this world. Yeah. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of these tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you reckon? Well, morphine. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. We got one. Thus, the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card passed through. Seven, 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 seven? <laughs> seven sevens, yep. <laughs> so this is the ID card record. Okay. Hey! I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina. I can't show you more than that. I should have taken a screenshot. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. White! I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. You can. Oh, hang on. Transfer. Transferals, yep. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here until under the presiding detective's supervision for two years. 
so we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the police station. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. But it, the DLC. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the few plot holes that kind of gripes me. Yeah. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. It could be that the law changed and DL6, like after DL6, they're like, alright, we'll change it from 15 years to right. two years. Right, it also could be but that because DL6 was DL6... a special case. That's true. Because they were like, oh, it didn't really get solved, oh, we arrested the wrong person, oh, like, they know this. Right. It could be that that's why they kept it forever. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is... 5842189. That was on there. Officer Marshall, show us the ID number on that ID re card record. Yep, that's on there. Look, the fourth number! It's a perfect match! It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. But there was someone in it 450. Mm -hmm. And someone in it 440. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So, when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Mark Meekins say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked a man to display his ID card! So, you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing! Suddenly, he pointed a knife at me! So, he had to have been in there first. If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Just like that, you're not. Let's uh, You're not this duplicating thing. it or anything first? I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Maybe. I want to look at it, actually. Okay. Go back. Oh, no, it is there. Okay, so that means Bruce Goodman. That means um, Meekins had to be one of the car one of the three before that. Couldn't have been. Or the one after that. It was at the exact, pretty much the exact same time. Okay, but he had to have been in there before then to show... Be or like, he hey, could have seen him on the security cameras. Okay, but if it was like, oh, there's someone in here, I wouldn't be like, better show me my, better show me your ID card, I'd be like, get the heck out of here. Like, <laughs> you know, like... The thing that's confusing is there's seven sevens. Yeah. Well, we don't know any of these ID cards. They could belong to anybody. Right, but it seems interesting that all of these are within an hour. Yeah. This is the lost item report. Wait, ID... Go back. Oh. <laughs> ID 5-9. Okay. Go back. Hit the... Um... Oh my gosh, the ID number list. There's not a 5-9. Uh, wait, there could be. If it's, well, I mean... There's two different 5 Keep in mind, Goodman numbers. was filling this out, so he would have written his own ID. Mmm, okay. Alright. Back we go. I think that's all the time we really have for this episode, actually. Because we still have a good portion of the investigation left. The evidence room investigation is going to take a ton of time by itself, I believe. Okay. And is it like, what a huge shock, or is it just like, no, it's going to take forever? It's going to take a while, and there are a few twists. Okay. So. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank Before you very much for it. watching, everybody. And until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.